Hi, I'm Cynthia for RBS Cafe, and I have Sherry with me today. Hi, Cynthia. Hi, Sherry. We're showing some really cool stuff today mm -hmm. again. Again, <laughs> pretty things. Yes, we wanted to talk about checkmates and how you can do simple things with checkmates because right. we have seen some beautiful, beautiful design out there. Right, um, gorgeous, gorgeous yeah. design. Um, sometimes it takes a lot of time to do those. So we wanted to try something different and try something uh, simple. Simple, right. We want to mention also that the checkmates were created to work together. Right, right. Almost like a, a, a puzzle. The pieces right. had come in all these different wonderful shapes and you can put them together and build just amazing pieces. Yes. The holes all line up with each other. Mm -hmm. They all line up regardless of which shape you're making. Um, so yes. you can build those amazing pieces. Yes. But we wanted to show, um, you know, what, what else can you do with that? Just to kind of get you started and exactly. introduce you to these, um, to these neat beads. I want to start with um, Sherry's bracelet here. And you use the quadro tiles. Right, right, right. Yeah, and I just put them back to back. Okay. And then I made um, my own jump rings. I think those are oh, triangles. You did. Yeah, okay. I just made a whole bunch at a time, and um, and then linked them together. I just thought the colors were so pretty, and I wanted yeah. to see both sides and the um, wire colors. I thought were really pretty. So um, really simple. That is just really to pretty. Link them up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, me, I love using the tile beads. Mm -hmm. I use those all the time. And what I like to do is just something simple like that. It's just a simple weaving where they are in the middle and then you decorate them on the top. Um, really, it's not a difficult um, pattern to use, but it feels good too. Feels good, does those it kind of sneaky? Yes, yeah. they're just amazing. And it's pretty much just strung back and forth. Yes, right? exactly. There's not lots of looping around or no, intricate it's things. Just it's just a back and forth. Exactly. Yeah. Beautiful. This one is even simpler. Uh, it's really cute. Right. There aren't a lot of, of the beads in there, but they are the little focal in those um, in that piece, which yeah. I love. And I love the way how here you have two spacer beads. I think that is really cute. Yeah. That really make the tie beads pop up. Uh, one other bead that I love using is uh, the daggers. You do, and you do beautiful <laughs> links with the daggers. I just love them. Oh, thank you. They have such amazing colors, and I think that's why I love to use this. And I made, made this um, this bracelet, and it's also just weaving, actually weaving this way, back and forth, and then at the end, using the daggers. They just add something yeah, more. Your trim. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. Uh, but then you can use the daggers are uh, little dangles. And those are great um, with those uh, crescent shape findings. And here I just uh, put them on a chain. And look at that, I think they look I so cool I just love together. that, just that pop of color across the bottom. I think they're beautiful. Yeah, so another way to use daggers. Um, what did you do there, Sherry? Well, um, here I have the cabochon beads. So it's two whole. And I just strung it and looped chain uh, around them as I went. Oh, okay. So I just strung a bead, looped the chain, strung the bead, looped the chain. Oh, so really okay. easy, um, easy piece. And I think it just shows off so pretty yes. in that. And then this piece is the cabochon and the bean bead. And these are just uh, four strands of jewelry wire. So it's just strung, all the strands, and then they're... Um, crimped at the ends and then linked together with um, jump rings. So again, super easy. Yeah, that's really neat. I really like that. And I love the way they show. They're mm. just smooth and soft and yes. I think they're so pretty. And here... Yeah, here I used the uh, diamond uh, bead. And again, when I saw them for the first that. time, um, I didn't really know how to use them, but I thought they will be so cool linked together and kind of making dangles out of them. Right. And um, I had this idea to just put some jump ring and the feathers, of course, at mm -hmm. the end, because I love feathers. <laughs> I love that. And again, that was a, a simple things to do yep. and, and pretty pretty fast. It adds that little bit of color, that little bib of color. Exactly. And, then you in that. and you could use any color yes. that way. So yes. really fun. Exactly. And then I love those also, the bar bead. Mm -hmm. um, on this bracelet, it's just also a weaving. That's all I did back and forth, back okay. and forth. And the effect is so great. Isn't it beautiful? It's 
so smooth too. I, yeah. I really, uh, really enjoy working with those. Feel slinky. And yes. Smooth, right. And this is this is one um, package. This it all is. these colors come that way, right? Same it with is. this one. You get that kind of yes. rainbow peacock um, yeah. shimmers. So really fun for something like this. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It, it's really you can choose your color mm. the way how you mm. go. Um, here I did them randomly, and uh, looks great. Beautiful. We really look like this way. Uh, then. This is a really cute necklace. That was Nicole, Nicole uh, Starman right. when she came here. And she did, um, she used the um, uh, quadra lanto mm -hmm. and she made this really beautiful um, circle, pendant, I guess. Or, yes, yeah. pendant. Yeah. And we have a video that shows how she made that. I mean, it was pretty simple too, just yeah. stringing around those uh, lentils. It's so effective. Yes. And then another one that I really enjoy was uh, the beam the beam bead and they have three holes so I kind of use them as spacers actually and then just put some um, bead cap and some fire uh, polish and th that's gorgeous thank you and that was just a sweet strand also right. oh that's beautiful and that was it. they really using them as spacers I think it's so much fun because they have three holes. well it's wonderful for a multi strand bracelet yes because um, oftentimes then you're hunting to find a spacer to hook those strands together right and these do the work so that's wonderful right <laughs> right? right they hold yeah. the string together right. yeah love that so you don't have to do like three like i did you can do one here and there um but that was really fun to uh, work with mm -hmm. yeah and then i did this little um pendant here and i use um some uh, head pins uh, because I, I started with that bracelet and then I thought if I just tag them with some crystal, how does mm -hmm. it look like? And I really like that effect and I thought for a pair of earrings or a um, pendant, as a pendant that would be really fun. So the only thing that you do, I have those um, long head pins and what I love in those head pins is they have a little cup here and um, and the, um, the loop here. So I just put everything uh, together and you see how they finish really well mm -hmm. here on the beam really like that and then you just put your bead uh, oops those are really small of course mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> let's try let's try again so it's easier to do um, the three head pins together than just doing one um, at a time that makes sense mm -hmm. So I just did that. So that's pretty easy. You just slide your bead and then just just do um, the beam. Get your bead down there. Okay. Yes, and it's a it can be a little tricky to just try to put everything together at the same time, but there, like that. Oh pretty. That's it. Yeah, and very simple. Yes, and then I just cut mm -hmm. and I made a loop and then um, on the loop, I mean in those loop I just uh, slide a chain and that was it that was a really cute uh, pendant super cute and then the little feathers yes. on the ends of yeah. course I have to put <laughs> feathers so pretty because I really like feathers I love that oh, thank you and again we have so many other colors of those checkmates so there are so many different pendants that you can do mm -hmm. with different colors you can really play with those uh, we really love the checkmates and um, it was really fun to figure it out to do something simple right, right and it's it's fun to see that there is so many combination that you can create mm -hmm. uh, yeah so fun and and endless possibilities because each shape is so different right? yes and and that sort of directs your your um your your attention right i love that right and please check our website because we have a lot of colors and then all the design we're showing you here you can find them uh, you can find all the instruction in our design studio. So thank you, Sherry, thank for you. coming today. And I hope we inspire you with those uh, checkmates and simple design. And thank you so much for joining us today uh, on RBS Cafe. And uh, make sure to subscribe to our email um, newsletter to get all our promotion and new ideas. So thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir. À bientôt. Bye bye.